Okay, we've all heard of this AI chat GPT, right? If you've not, it's an AI powered language model that can understand and respond to text-based queries in a human-like manner. It uses deep learning algorithms and is, is pre-trained on a large amount of text data to generate coherently and contextually relevant responses. And do you know how I know that? I asked it and that's what it told me. Word for word, that's what it told me. Make no mistake here, guys. This is the beginning of the end. Terminator, Matrix, that weird Steven Spielberg movie where Jude Law was a sex doll, it starts right here. But the question is, can it put together a fit? So I think like, yeah, let's see. A chat GPT put together the perfect man's outfit. Sure, I can provide some general guidelines for putting together a stylish men's outfit. However, keep in mind that fashion is subjective and what one person considers perfect may not be the same for another. Here are some tips for a classic, versatile outfit that can be appropriate for many occasions. Okay, already it's uh, hedging his bets, which is smarter than I, I want it to be. Start with a well-fitted shirt. A classic button-up shirt is always a good choice. Look for a shirt that fits well in the shoulders and chest, and make sure the sleeves are the right length for your arms. Yeah, okay, I agree. Uh, your clothes should always fit you. And to the shirt, uh, also, a decent enough choice, something like a... Also cloth button down would be would be perfect actually. Add a pair of well-fitting pants. A pair of well-fitting pants in a neutral color like navy or gray is a great option. Avoid anything too baggy or too tight. A bit dull, yeah, but um, maybe a pair of chinos? Choose a blazer or sports jacket. A blazer or sports jacket can add a touch of sophistication to your outfit. Look for something that fits well in the shoulders and chest, and make sure the length is appropriate for your height. Huh. Um, yeah, okay, I hate this one. I really hate, hate, hate this one. Um, it's the constant rhetoric of um, the kind of article which is like, the only definitive 10-step guide to the perfect wardrobe you will ever need. Th those kind of articles. If it's definitive and it's the only one I will ever need, uh, why is it rehashed every three months? Anyway, uh, I don't like blazers, as you can probably tell, and I think it's a cheap and lazy way to try and add a, a touch of sophistication. Plus, if you're under 40, they make you look creepy. And most of the time they make you look creepy if you're over 40. Um, I'm sorry, Blazers, you, you, you had your time. Maybe you'll have your time again, but uh, you've been co-opted by one too many pervert and uh, geography teachers. Where did that one come from? Uh, have I got some sort of repressed Blazer-related trauma? I, we're gonna keep that repressed, deeply. Uh, moving on, quickly. Um, hmm. Accessorize with a tie. If the occasion calls for it, Add a tie to your outfit. Choose a color and pattern that complements your shirt and jacket. Uh, uh, not really, no. I, I think in reality the times when you can wear a tie and not look like you're trying a bit hard are limited, so uh, no tie. Finish with shoes and a belt. Choose a pair of shoes that are appropriate for the occasion. Fair? For a dressier occasion, opt for a pair of dress shoes in a neutral color like black or brown. Um, again? Yeah, fair? Make sure to match your belt to your shoes. Uh, yeah, in this context with what um, Skynet's going for, I guess it's fair enough. Remember, the key to a great outfit is not just the clothes themselves, but how they fit and how you wear them. Mm, uh, yeah, that is very, very true. Make sure everything is tailored to your body, and don't be afraid to experiment with different styles and colors to find what works best for you. Also very true, but also a bit of a copper, let's face it. Basically, it's saying, off you go and just work it out for yourself. This is how I would work it out for myself. I would take the button down shirt. I think that's a, a good place to start. Um, I'm gonna take that in a chambray. I'll also take the chinos uh, if we're going that way, but in a khaki. I'm going to have a pair of derby boots with that and maybe a denim jacket. Do the derbies work? No. I was going for the denim jacket wouldn't work, which was my first thought, but I wanna keep the derbies, so I'm gonna go for a suede leather jacket. I, I mean, yeah, it's not exactly inspired, maybe not the perfect man's outfit, but it works. Right, who won? Hal or, or me? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're interested, down there in the video description, there's going to be links to any of the garments that I kind of choose in this, in this video as I go along. Right, uh, what else have you got? Can you put together a heritage style man's outfit? Uh, Let's see what it does with this. Gonna be interesting. Sure. Here's an example of a heritage style outfit for men. Jacket. A classic tweed blazer or herringbone jacket in shades of brown or gray can provide a traditional heritage feel. Uh, okay, here we go with the blazers again. Right, um, what's next? Shirt. A white, 
button-up Oxford shirt is a versatile choice that will complement the jacket and tie. Mm, yeah, no. Um, we're going to kick both the shirt and the tie. Tie. Choose a knitted or woolen tie in earthy tones to complement the jacket. Okay, I'm starting to see that Deep Thought's idea of heritage is uh, a, a shoot in the Scottish Highlands. Trousers. Opt for a pair of classic trousers in a neutral color like beige or gray. Right, um, this seems to be the, the default go-to, which really tells me nothing at all, so not so useful. Shoes. Brown brogues, monk straps, or loafers will match the outfit and add a touch of elegance. Brown brogues, yeah, okay, I like it. Monk straps, fuck no. No matter what falsely, hashtag menswear is not back, nor will it be. Loafers, yeah, okay, yeah, nice. Accessories. A leather belt in a matching shade to the shoes, a classic watch, and a pocket square that matches the tie can complete the heritage-inspired look. Okay, you can have the belt, they're good at keeping your pants up. Uh, you can even match your shoes if you want. A classic watch, absolutely yes, not just not a Rolex. Pocket square, hell no. Remember, these are just guidelines. And you can make modifications to the outfit based on your personal style and preferences. Jesus, it's like modern politics. Basically, they say an awful lot without saying very much at all. Oh, he's still going. The key is to choose quality, timeless pieces that will last and can be mixed and matched with other items in your wardrobe. Okay, that, that is sage advice. I'll, I'll give it that. Right, I'm beginning to see, see the pattern here. Clearly, this thing is only as smart as what it's been fed with. And in terms of menswear, it seems to have been fed with GQ articles and also some from Horse and Hound. I mean, this is what heritage inspired means to me. It's not cowboy cosplay, although that kind of can be cool. It's not dressing like a, a miner from the 1890s or a biker from the 50s. It's, it's taking the ethos of heritage menswear and applying that to your garments. So, so classic pieces, pieces that show craftsmanship, quality and, and longevity. And speaking of all this, boots, um, Red Wings. And why not? I mean, they're still the best boot for your buck that I know at least. And yeah, they're very, very much in the, in the heritage space. Pants, I mean, yeah, okay, we're gonna have to go for a pair of raw blue jeans and I'm digging the, the CS from 316 right now, as you guys know. Up top, a uh, plain white tee. Any will do, actually, as long as the fit's good and the quality's decent. Over that, a flannel shirt, maybe. Uh, apparently, the Ironheart flannels are amazing, so why not? We're gonna go with that. Then over that, a contemporary take on the 30s leather sportswear jacket. That's basically... The archetype leather jacket. Finish that off with with a cap or a watch cap? I think a, a watch cap. I'm wearing one just now, so why not? Yeah, pretty heritage, but also, I mean, these things, these items of clothing are archetypes. They're they're timeless. They're ne they're never going to go out of style. And this is what I think about when I think of a of a heritage inspired outfit. Right, let's give Skynet one more go. Put me together an outfit around a pair of blue jeans. This should be interesting. Sure. Here's an example of a stylish outfit you can put together around a pair of blue jeans. Blue jeans. Choose a classic, well-fitted pair of blue jeans in a style that suits your body shape and preference. Straight leg, slim fit or tapered are all versatile options. So far so good. Shirt. Opt for a casual shirt, such as a plain white tee or a denim shirt to pair with the jeans. Nice, and I agree. The, the denim shirt, double denim, I, I like it. I love it. Alternatively, you can also wear a patterned shirt, such as a plaid or checked shirt. Yeah, I mean, let's admit it, the, the lumber sexual fit works. It speaks to something um, primitive and something probably missing in all of us. What are we going to do on the jacket side? Jacket. Depending on the weather, you can add a denim jacket, bomber jacket, or a leather jacket to the outfit. All three options will provide a stylish and casual vibe. Oh, okay, so, I mean, I'm not hating this so far. With the denim jacket, you could go all out with triple denim, which is... Bold, I, li I like that. Or with a bomber and a white tee, that's also great. And the leather jacket would be a solid choice for either shirt option. And what are we missing? Ah, shoes. Shoes. For a casual look, white sneakers, loafers, or chukka boots will complement the jeans. I mean, white sneakers, yeah. A pair of canvas kicks, good option. Loafers, very take ivy, but still great. Chukka boots, uh, it works. It's boring as fuck, but it... it it works. Come to think of that, I just got myself a pair of chucker boots, but I am boring as fuck, so yeah. Anyway, um... For a more formal look, 
You can wear a pair of dress shoes such as black or brown brogues. I don't know. I don't think you should try and dress up jeans. Uh, if you want a formal look, wear a pair of formal pants. I mean, having said that, okay, black or brown brogues do look good with a pair of jeans, just not if you're trying to look smart. How are we going to finish this off? Hmm? Accessories. Complete the look with a leather belt that matches the color of your shoes. Uh, this, this matching your leather thing? Yeah, in general, I think it's a great idea. But in practice, I've seen the rule broken so many times and so well, I'm kind of on the fence with it. You can also add sunglasses, a watch, or a cap to the outfit to give it a more personalized touch. I mean, I'm not sure if it makes it more personal, but it does add to the fit. Ray-Bans would be a good look, Persils would be a good choice, watch cap. I think ChatGTP has been watching my videos. Remember, you can always modify the outfit based on your personal style and preference. The key is to choose quality pieces that fit well and can be easily mixed and matched with other items in your wardrobe. Okay, so basically it's the same sage advice. You do you and just make sure it's good, which is not particularly helpful. Okay, so what have we learned? Well, I think we've learned that chat GPT is a bit or a, a lot swagless. I mean, I can't really disagree with what it's telling me, but I do recognize it for what it is. It's, a, it's an amalgamation of all the mundane, monotonous and tedious advice from, from all the countless how to dress articles out there on the interwebs. I mean, of course it is. This is, that's where it went to school. And I see this as more of a, of a general problem when it comes to the idea of, of big data. It's, it's the, the democratization of any kind of product or service. It's, it's all number driven, stat driven. It's not driven by any kind of, kind of individuality or, or creativity or, or flair. It's a, uh, so in fact, it's the absolute absence of that. And if that drives offerings, not only in menswear, but in anything, then it just, it creates a, an echo chamber. It's a, it's a feedback loop where, of course, nothing new happens because nothing new is offered. And if nothing new is offered, then nothing new can happen. Right, anyway, okay, a monologue ran over, but I guess this is all a monologue, unfortunately. I, I mean, I'd love to be chatting with you guys, I really would. I, I try to, in the comments, I, I need to try harder. At the end of the day, don't rely on ChatGPT to pick your fits. Don't rely on me to pick your fits. You can you can rely on yourself. Explore what, what works for you and, and evolve within within that. I mean, I'm changing things up all the time. I, I'm learning all the time and hopefully I'm getting better fits all the time. Okay, but having said all that, I think there is space for advice within the the nuances of menswear. And maybe that's something I can I can help out with. I mean, for example, if you want to find the perfect pair of blue jeans, then check this video out right here.